My, 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 my. It has hit the fan because it's been noted that Aretha Franklin's body is set to be exhumed in a chilly murder investigation. Yes, you heard it correctly. After police discovered her $80 million fortune was looted before she died. Oh, yes. Here we go again. I mean, this is a true show and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is a true show. Oh, yes. It seems that the authorities believe that the Queen of Soul working out was buried in a golden casket, as we know. But here's the twist. She'd never received an autopsy. Now, these suspicions came up when her family wages a bare knuckle court battle for her millions after her death in August of last year. I did a video about her. I will leave the link below. Anyway. As we all should know, Aretha died in her Michigan home without a will, even though she supposedly knew she was going to die, suspicion number one. There wasn't an autopsy done, suspicion number two, because everyone had assumed that she had pancreatic cancer. And consider her medical history, everyone just took it at face value. Oh, I'm not done yet. Because it has been told that just months before she passed away, the police in Bloomfield Township, the suburb just outside of Detroit where Aretha lived, began an investigation and they found out that someone stole about $200,000 from Aretha. Oh, yes. This is just the tip of the iceberg because they dug deeper and they found out that someone has been stealing money from her for months as she got sicker and eventually died. So they're thinking that Aretha may have been murdered for money. So there is a ruling on the table for them to have permission to have the body exhumed. You see, the estate is currently controlled by Aretha's niece, Sabrina Garrett Owens, and attorney David J. Bennett, which have left big suspicions because none of her kids were left with anything. They're currently in court right now trying to get their share. Oh, and there's more. Her longtime lover, Willie Wilkerson, is also trying to get something. However, Michigan law mandates that Aretha Estate be split among her children and Willie, who's been with her since the 80s. They were engaged once at some point as well. There's also a suspect, but there wasn't enough evidence to file charges. Now, back to her niece, who supposedly gained control of her estate instead of her kids. It has been told that Aretha's niece, Sabrina and greedy attorney David J. Bennett, have, haven't really coughed up any original paperwork stating that Aretha gave them control over her estate. It has been told that they may have conned her for someone else who Aretha had long dealings with in the past because prior to Aretha's death, she was supposed to appear in many places. So this could be another record company, and I quote, worth more dead than alive kind of thing we will see how this all unfolds i will keep you posted so keep it here love you all bye sign up for my website. You can get an inside look at a listed video and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script. You can also see the making of one of my videos. Mm -hmm. Even have a personal chat with me and much more. So become part of the Truth Show family. There is no fee, just donation. You can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes. Oh, don't forget to follow me and or like me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to listen while working out or driving, listen to me on SoundCloud and Spreaker. All the links are below. Hope to see you all soon. Hey, but there's more. Check out these.